Hello students, in this video we'll see how to solve a dynamical system with complex eigenvalues using the matrix exponential method. Let's consider the system r prime of t is equal to 1, 5, negative 2, 3 r of t. And we'll solve this using the matrix exponential method. The solution of this system is r of t is the exponential of the matrix 1, 5, negative 2, 3 times t applied to r of 0. To find the exponential of this matrix, we need to find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of my matrix. So we will set the determinant of 1 minus lambda 5, negative 2, 3 minus lambda equals 0. And we see that this will give me a lambda minus 1, lambda minus 3, plus 10 equals 0. And if we factor this out, we get lambda squared minus 4 lambda, and then a plus 13. And now we can complete the square. So we can write this as lambda squared minus 4 lambda plus 4, and then there'll be a 9 left over. Now this term over here is a perfect square, so we can write this as lambda minus 2 quantity squared plus 3 squared equals 0. And from this we can see that our eigenvalues will be lambda equals 2 plus or minus 3i. And so what we do is we will find the eigenvector for the eigenvalue with the negative sign. So how will we find this? We will look at 1 minus 2 minus 3i and 5. And we know that for two-dimensional matrices, the second row of the matrix for finding the eigenvector will be immaterial. We will have a v1 and a v2. And we will set this equal to 0, 0. And so the relationship we have will simplify this a little bit. This term over here will be a negative 1 plus 3i. So we will have negative 1 plus 3i applied to v1 plus 5 applied to v2 equals 0. And now we can make any choice of either v1 or v2 to simplify the problem. So if we choose v2, v, if we choose v1 to be 1, that will imply that negative 1 plus 3i plus 5v2 equals 0, which will tell me that v2 will be 1 minus 3i over 5, or equivalently 1 fifth minus 3 fifths i. So our eigenvector will be 1 and then 1 fifth and then minus 3 fifths i, which we'll split into real and imaginary parts. We can split this into 1 1 fifth plus i, and then 0 negative 3 fifths. So my eigenvector has been decomposed into its real part and its imaginary part. And now, we use the fact that a matrix A that has complex eigenvalues can be written as the real part of V, the imaginary part of V as a matrix, and then my A negative B, B 
A, and then the inverse of this matrix, real V, imaginary V, inverse, where lambda equals A minus I, B. And furthermore, when we exponentiate this, the exponential of A will be this matrix, real V, imaginary V, and then I will have a e to the a cosine b, e to the a sine b with a negative sign, e to the a sine b, and e to the a cosine b, and then the inverse of the matrix, real v, imaginary v, inverse. In particular, for our problem with a t, we can see that our solution to the problem, r of t, will be the exponential of this matrix. So we will put the real part in first, 1, 1 fifth. Then the imaginary part, 0, negative 3 fifths. And then we will have my a in this problem is 2, and my b is 3. So I'll have e to the 2t cosine 3t, negative e to the 2t sine of 3t, e to the 2t sine of 3t, e to the 2t cosine of 3t, and then the inverse of this matrix, 1, 0, 1 fifth, negative 3 fifths, evaluate the initial condition x0, y0. So by finding the complex form of my matrix exponential, I'm able to solve a system that has complex eigenvalues. Thank you very much.